All right, here we go. Welcome into Philadelphia Eagles now by Chat Sports. I'm Shay Senior. Hope all of you out there are having a fantastic day. We have a great show on tap for all of you as we take all of your questions here on Eagles now. Might be the bye week, but our coverage doesn't stop, and that's why you subscribe to the program. Want to start here with this $5 super chat from the real one, David Marcella. He said, I'm glad that N'Kobe Dean is out. He's not ready to lead this defense. I think Morrow and Cunningham are the players that will get it done. What do you think? So a lot of people look at Nicholas Morrow and his three sacks this year as more of a blitzing linebacker. Him and Zach Cunningham have actually been pretty good in coverage. Now, I want to see N'Kobe Dean continue to develop because I do think he has a lot of ability, but he has been exposed a little bit when in coverage. He has a pro football focus grade of 49.2, but his pass rush grade was really good before going out. His run defense grade, really good at 80.2 with the pass rush grade of 83.4. An overall grade for the Kobe Dean of 61.7. The issue, passer rating allowed of 102.4. So he can get better there, but he's one of those players where you look at him, he's a little bit smaller, but he's an instinctual player. He makes the right play at the right time. Studied engineering at Georgia. So obviously the coaching staff had confidence in him for him to wear that green dot to relay the plays to him. But when he did go out earlier with a different foot injury, by the way, this is a left foot injury, Liz Frank sprain earlier this season, it was a right foot injury. I didn't think this Eagles defense really missed a beat. I'm sad that Dean is out, but I think that Morrow and Cunningham have proved to be pretty solid players this year. Can we take a look at Nicholas Morrow's pro football focus grades too, by the way? We do hope to have those graphics for you because – Morrow has been a revelation. He's actually been one of the highest graded backers in the National Football League. Overall grade of 84.9, only 255 coverage snaps. For instance, Zach Cunningham has about 100 more, but run defense grade of 75.3, pass rush grade of 91.3, coverage grade of 76.7 with those three sacks. Andrew Nathan next up with the $10 Super Chat. Appreciate that, brother. Chase, since Derek Barnett was inactive on Sunday, is it safe to say that he's lost favor with the coaching staff? Could we see more of BG because of his performance on Sunday? Brandon Graham certainly turned the clocks back on Sunday against the Dallas Cowboys and had a couple of critical plays to help secure that victory. Chase down Dak Prescott on that two-point try, not giving him the edge. That's what forced Dak to step out of bounds, and that was... The reversal of the call, which made it a three-point game into a five-point game, and that's why the Cowboys had to score a touchdown late in that game. And then Derek Barnett had that really critical sack. I don't know if Sean Desai is going to play Brandon Graham more. I think he's going to continue to play BG normal snaps. I think actually what we might see is more from Nolan Smith. And Nick Sirianni kind of alluded to this during a news conference going into the Cowboys game that they like Nolan Smith. He's a fantastic athlete, twitch, athleticism, burst coming off the edge. But the Eagles are just really deep along the defensive line. He said that before the Cowboys game, and then Derek Barnett was inactive. And Nolan Smith did get some snaps. For Brandon Graham, let's see, 104 pass rushing snaps this year. That's actually not all that much, but when he needed to make a play, he made a play against the Cowboys, and he has a pass rush grade of 79.8. It's kind of a combination of both. A little bit more from BG, a little bit more from Nolan Smith. Let's go back to David Marcella here. Super Chat's coming up first. I think they should try a 5-3, five, five down linemen, two linebackers, one strong safety, two corners, one deep safety. What do you think? I'm always a fan of that bare front that kind of Buddy Ryan introduced in the early 1990s with some of those legendary Eagles defenses, that's five down defensive linemen at the front. You could run a little 5-2. I would have no problems with that. The Eagles actually do that quite often to allow them to have like Hassan Reddick, Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox, Jordan Davis, Jalen Carter, and maybe a Nolan Smith all on the field. Different iterations of that, obviously. And then your two off-ball linebackers are Zach Cunningham and Nicholas Morrow. I kind of like the thought with Bradley Roby coming back of still going with three corners. And occasionally you could put Sidney Brown in the slot as well, mix up those safety looks to a certain degree. 
but definitely throughout the course of a football game, I always like making those necessary adjustments to give the offense different looks, and Sean Desai has done a lot of that there, David. Andrew Nathan back at it with the $5 Super Chat. I would like us to sign Jason Pierre-Paul, Melvin Ingram, or Carlos Dunlap to the squad. Nolan Smith has promise but needs to be faster and stronger using his hands. He could use some more strength, and I think that'll come as he's in the NFL longer. He's just a young player, but that'll come with time. Jason Pierre-Paul is very interesting. He did say that he is willing to sign with a contender's practice squad. Eagles are a contender. They could have some opportunities available with that practice squad. JPP, best days are behind him. With Derek Barnett being a healthy scratch, I'm interested to see how the Eagles look at a player like JPP. I'm probably good on Melvin Ingram or Carlos Dunlap, but Jason Pierre-Paul certainly would be interesting. More of your questions coming up, but first, do you plan on going to an Eagles game this year, home or on the road? If the answer to that question is yes, you got to download the Game Time app because we can help you save on your tickets. How, Chase? $20 off using the code EaglesChat. I love Game Time because as the event gets closer, prices drop, and it's the best seats at the lowest price guaranteed. I went to the ALCS between the Astros and Rangers recently. I've gone to a couple of college football games. I also love live music, and I love going to comedy shows. I'm due to go to a comedy show because I could use some laughs during the busy nature of football season. And if I want to go to an event like that, because it's not only sporting events, I use Game Time. What's also cool about the app is the user interface. You can see where you'll be sitting, for instance, at Lincoln Financial Field, Bills, Eagles, Birds rocking the Kelly Greens, but the price point for where you'll be sitting. This is the list view, the vantage point from that seat, or you get the bird's eye view, looking at the map view, where you look down at Lincoln Financial Field. All the different seats available and the different price points. So, one more time, the code that you have to use for that deal to apply, $20 off your checkout, is Eagles Chat. Redeem that code and that link and all of that information is available for you right now down in the comment section and in the description of this video. More of your questions coming up. Jerome Myers, out of all of our injuries, which one do you think is the most impactful? I think the Eagles can survive being without N'Kobe Dean. I think them being without Dallas Goddard hurts them. Nick Sirianni did make a good point in saying that you don't have to just focus on what tight ends replace Goddard. They can make up for that production elsewhere. For instance, getting Devontae Smith more involved, getting Julio Jones more involved. So I do have trust in this coaching staff because I like how they think as far as game day strategy and game preparation. Hakeem 107, will this defensive scheme change after the bye? And if so, to what? I don't think Sean Desai is going to change this scheme. I will say this about Sean Desai. A lot of people aren't happy with the defense in the first half. He makes some really quality adjustments after halftime. Cowboys scored 17 points in the first half. After that, six. You know, he held that commander's offense somewhat in check outside of that garbage time touchdown against the commanders. How about the job that this Eagles defense did against the number one ranked Miami Dolphins offense? I think Sean Desai has done some really good things, but it is a new scheme with some different personnel, that Cowboys game, the first game all year that the Eagles have had the same starting secondary in back-to-back -back games. So that's caused some issues, too, on that back end. Cool Reigns, I reckon that Albert O could surprise some people and play very well and be tight end, too, when Dallas Goddard comes back. What do you think? I agree. Albert Oka Abenam has all of the ability in the world to be a very successful pass-catching tight end in the NFL. And I think the Eagles looked at the spider chart. They looked at the RAS score. They looked at the athletic ability. And they're willing to take a chance on a player like that. When you watch a guy who's this gifted take the field, and at that size and that speed, where he's like 6'6", 240, 250, running a 4'4", who has soft hands, who can make guys miss, run you over, and pick up yards after the catch, I think that Alberto could be a late bloomer. The issue here is that he's an awful blocker at that tight end spot. So you use him in the slot, I think that he could be a serious weapon for this team going down the stretch. 
Jerome Myers, what are your predictions for the next five weeks? We actually have those games that we can pop up. This is good stuff here um, as far as the schedule and litmus tests and providing the Eagles with a stout challenge, getting them playoff ready. Hopefully they're able to escape this run without any serious injuries because the last three games of the year, pretty easy. Dog shit Giants team twice and then the Arizona Cardinals. Chiefs on the road, Bills at home, Niners at home, at Cowboys, at Seahawks. I think if you go 4-1, and one, that is glorious. You go 3-2, and two, that's a massive win. I think this Eagles team is way too good and way too battle-tested to go 2-3. and three. I don't think it's going to be a losing record. I'm going 3-2, and two, that's my best guess, and that's fine because of the schedule to round out the season. They'll still have an opportunity to get that number one seed in the NFC. Jimmy McGrath, what are your thoughts on the secondary, especially interchanging the slot? I think Bradley Roby coming back is going to be a big addition for this team. You got to get the secondary figured out. Because if you do that, you become, with that defensive line, the depth of it, the overall talent, and the pass rush, which has helped the Eagles be victorious, closing those games out the last two weeks, this could be a scary team, especially with the offense really getting it going as well. But the Eagles are 29th in passing yards allowed per game at 257. They are tied for 31st in passing touchdowns allowed, 19. But they're arguably the best team against the run. So teams know that regardless of who the quarterback is, they can chuck it against this Eagles secondary if that pass rush can't get home. First in rushing yards allowed per game at 66, and then tied for second with rushing touchdowns allowed. Andrew Nathan, I hope we play more zone on Bradbury's half of the field. Let him play off the field and play the route in front of him. They could keep Bayard in deep coverage, and they could make plays on the ball. Again, I think that in today's NFL, you always want to mix up your looks from man to zone to different fronts just to give and try to confuse the quarterbacks a little bit because if you interchange those looks they never know what's coming and uh i think that's obviously giving an edge to the defense if you can be multiple on the defensive side of the field before we hop on out of here if you want your questions answered during a future show subscribe to the channel you can be a part of it we go live a couple of times per week so hit that sub button down below and as always go birds